Hey Sonny here. Today I want to show you a, 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 a unbox of products called MyCloud by uh, WD. It's a six terabyte drive. Um, the reason why I purchased it because you know, as I do the YouTube videos, uh, the video file gets pretty big, and my, I'm starting running out of room uh, in my computer. Fortunately, the hard drive now is a dirt cheap, and I saw this thing called MyCloud. Uh, basically, it's a, a, a personal server. A network drive, network hard drive, a network storage area that you can host all your stuff. And the thing is that these, uh, um, let me show you the box here. So this is my cloud. Uh, it has six terabyte in this one. And uh, I just got it. I paid two hundred thirty-nine dollars for this. Um, last year you can get four terabyte for the same price, but this year you get two extra ter terabytes for the same price. So it's two forty for six terabyte. It's a, uh, it's a personal cloud storage. Um, supposedly, supposedly it's very easy to use. Um, so we're gonna check it out soon. But this video is only show you how to uh, we'll take a look inside to unbox it. Uh, this whole box weight, the unit itself weighs about 2.3 pounds. Uh, if you convert it in kilograms, about 1.043 kilograms for you guys who are interested overseas. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the size of the hard drive the cloud drive is 5.5 uh, inches times 1.9 times 6.7 inches. So it's 5.5 uh, depth, uh, 1.9 in uh, the width, and 6.7 is the height. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, the uh, the if you want to convert it into, into uh, centimeters, it would be 13.97 centimeter times about 4.83 uh, times about 17.02 centimeter. So that's this, uh, the size of the product. So let's open it up. Okay, so. It doesn't come with a whole lot of information. It comes with one little tiny um, thing here. Very fine print, so that's technical spec and details that you get. And then the only instruction I have is just this. That's the only instruction I got. I got in this box. Basically, it tells you that you just plug it into your Ethernet. Turn it on, and then you go to this uh, mycloud.com backslash setup, and then you will get going. So that's the instruction there. Not a whole lot to it. And then you have the Ethernet cable. Again, this is a uh, this is storage that connects to your Ethernet. It's a network drive, so it's not a hard drive to actually plug into your computer. Uh, that goes into your Ethernet or your, your router. Okay, and then you got the uh, power supply. Okay, and this is an AC adapter, 12 volt, or 1.5A. Okay, uh, and then that's it. And then the only thing I can left is the drive itself. So let's pull that out. So the drive is uh, is wrapped, it's saran wrap. Um, the power lights in the front, um, and in the back you have the um, that's where the power goes. You get Ethernet jack. That's where you plug into the Ethernet router on your on your wireless router, and then you have the uh, USB port. What this USB board does is you can actually plug in an additional hard drive to this, and you can back it automatically back up all your all your files uh, with this thing. So the size itself is not too; it's very small. So you know, here's my hand. I hold it in one hand. It's not big at all. Excellent, uh, small package. Packs six terabytes. And if you guys don't know, one terabyte is one thousand gigabyte. 
So think of it, your phone usually about 32 gigabyte, the max. This one has 6,000 gigabyte. So you will, I don't think you'll run out of room anytime soon unless you really do a lot of video uh, editing and do a lot of video um, uploading. But for me personally, mostly it's music, uh, pictures. Um, so this should be enough. The thing about this drive is that you can access the information from anywhere. So you can basically share your folders with your friends. Uh, and uh, I can go somewhere else and access my file using my smartphone, uh, my laptop. Uh, obviously, if you are not using Wi-Fi, if you use your data, you have to be charged data if you over your limit on your cell phone um, uh, data limitation. But if you connect to Wi-Fi, you, you can download, upload anything without worrying about um, you know, being charged. Uh, so my suggestion is that you know, when you access file, and if you have a, if you have limited data, I would wait till you are connected to Wi-Fi with your smartphone, laptop before you uh, before you do this. So that's it. Uh, it's a very simple box. Um, I will do a separate video on uh, once I figure out how to use it and I'm going to set it up and I'm going to show you guys you know, uh, more features and functions of this thing. But I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to how to use this to back up all my uh, PCs in the house and my smartphone and my kids' smartphones. They can basically back up all the pictures and uh, music on the phone to this thing right here. So that's it.